How am I taking it out? Oh my god, where? <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when I get in front of a camera. Anyway, hey guys, um, hope you guys are doing awesome. Tonight, we're going to talk about vinyl and music news, or BAM, um, what Ink Drop likes to call it. Ink Drop and everybody, um, He-Man and otherwise zombie. Um, they're kind of MIA and on vacation, but they should be back eventually. And hey, if you guys just are subscribing to my channel, yeah, um, I live with a zombie. There's He-Man and a few other characters that like to come out. Um, you'll see them eventually. Or if you want, you can check out old videos. Plugging myself. All right. And tonight I wanted to talk about Martin Luther King. So this past week in the United States, um, we celebrated Martin Luther King Day. And what I wanted to talk about today was the fact that sometime last year, um, an archivist actually found and stumbled across the um, I Have a Dream speech on a real to real tape. Like the original, not the original, it turns out um, what I thought was like the original I Have a Dream speech where he gave it to everybody was actually to a high school at a certain point in time during that era and I thought that was just so freaking cool that we somebody thought to preserve this apparently um, somebody at the high school who was there when it was actually being recorded confirmed that that yet yeah, that is indeed what we recorded it that that is ours and to me that's just mind-blowing that we have this piece and they've actually had the technology to convert it from real to real into now and today and present it as an audio piece that anybody can hear, anybody can do research on, and anybody can listen to. And it's the predecessor to his I Have a Dream speech. He gave this to a group of high school students. And I'm just like, what? This is so freaking cool. Like, to be able to hold something, I guess, make something tangible. Not only that, the fact that somebody decided to do research and find a log of, hmm, there's a real-to-real -real tape of Martin Luther King giving a speech? What? What? I need to find this. It's one of those things that you hear about, but you don't hear about on those TV shows. Um, more in the sense of, like, Pirate's Gold, or um, finding that long-lost treasure, or finding that hidden door in the frame. And these people go nuts looking for gold, or looking for tr buried treasure, and they never find it. And we happen to find a piece of history that you would just never think would be sitting on a shelf in a public library with the words, please do not erase on the reel to reel. That is just crazy to me. But what's really cool is, is that it's actually been found and not lost in the sands of time like everything else. Um, it's kind of awesome and weird and cool um, that we have the ability to sit there and take something and digitize it and bring it into the modern age and it's just awesome and what better week to share it than now i really wanted to share it last year and i think i talked about it a little bit in a little bit of way maybe i did a video i can't remember but um i just thought it was really cool because now they actually have the audio um i think it was the library of congress that digitized it and they were able to present it online in full so you can listen to the I Have a Dream speech and do research on this and hear the predecessor to his big I Have a Dream speech, you know? And it's just like, what? I don't know. I think it's really cool that we can just travel in time in that manner. And you can kind of do that with audio. It doesn't matter when you were born. You're able to sit there and go from the 1920s, the 1900s, with beginning to sound in Edison all the way to present day to, hey, I want to travel the 60s or the 70s and just get lost in an era. And to think that you can do that with speeches is just mind blowing. That is probably like the, the coolest thing about audio is it's not only a way of hearing something, but it's the closest thing to time traveling. And that's probably like my biggest appeal with all of this. Anyway, that's a whole tangent for another day. I think we've actually talked about this like once or twice. But I just thought it was cool that anybody now in this day and age can listen to a piece of audio and it just took somebody to sit there and archive something and somebody to go looking for that something to find it. And it's like, no way! You guys found what? Anyway, um, I can't be the only one who's like nerding out on stuff like this, but um, if you're not used to this nerding out, um, 
it happens from time to time. Anyway, um, let me know down in the comments below. Do you think it's cool that we found this piece of audio? Do you think it's not cool? Do you think it's stupid? And I'm curious, does anybody outside of the United States celebrate Martin Luther King Day? Or is that just a United States thing? I mean, I do know that there's Australians that just admire his... Um, what he was able to achieve and what he was able to accomplish. But is it a thing outside the United States or do you just guys not celebrate it and kind of disregard it? Anyway, I'm curious about that, I will say. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing awesome and we'll talk more music next week. Bye. Whatever it is that you believe you're seeing, it's not, 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 not real. Not always what they seem in this place. So you can't take anything for granted.